Hi, Cappies are with a general love reading for the sign of Cap for the sign of Capricorn. Cappies, a warm welcome um, to you to um, um, invite you into my space. The world seems like a much smaller place, doesn't it? In this in this way of communicating, I welcome you into this space. Um, I'm not going to go into my normal warnings before I start. I just want to remind everyone of the strength of the individual self, the power of the heart space and um, the wisdom and the enlightenment that we can receive when we connect in with our spiritual teams. Let's go ahead and look um, for Capricorn. What is Capricorn? What is happening with Capricorn as we speak? What is happening with this group of Capricorns as we speak? As we speak, what's happening now? What's happening currently for Capricorns? What's happening currently for Capricorns? What's happening currently for Capricorn energy? What's happening currently? What's happening currently? All right, let's look at what's happening in the future in the next seven to day, next seven to ten days for um, the sign of Capricorn. In the next seven to ten days for the sign of Capricorn. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here for some reason. What's happening in the next seven to ten days for the sign of Capricorn? What's happening in the next seven to ten days? The next immediate future for Capricorn. Next immediate future for Capricorn. Next immediate future for Capricorn, please. A lot of cards flipping here that tells me that there is quite a lot of mind chatter going on or even busyness happening now for Capricorn or in the next week and to 10 days. Mind chatter. Mind chatter is going on. All right, and let's look for guidance. Please give us some guidance for Capricorn. Please give us some guidance for Capricorn, please. Please give us some guidance, please. Guidance for Capricorn. Thank you. I feel like there's one more energy in here. Just looking to come out. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of chatter. There's a the, there's a this is all right. Okay, before I get into everything, let me just start at the beginning here. First of all, Cappies, I have a new tripod. Um, I am a bit of a wanderer, and I want to wander more in my future. So um, I needed to find a tripod that um, could look down from the top, and then I could move with me and, and use it in different spaces. So it took me a little while to find one, but I have. And um, here I go. So looking at Capricorn, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. And we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, let me get myself into this energy. When I when I you, when I read reversals, it does take me a little bit longer to get into the energy. But I, I do feel like, in a way, it's 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 challenging, but it's also fulfilling to to read reversals. More fulfilling than I thought it would be. So, it's a new territory for me. Please have patience as I um, move through this new part of my process. <clears throat> there's something here you're not paying attention to anymore okay <clears throat> and for some reason my throat is <clears throat> there's something here you're not paying any mind to or you're not paying attention to anymore you've learned it now Capricorn you've learned whatever it is that you had to learn um, in the past so you've reached the ending of a class, right? A life class. 
Maybe you've reached an ending of a certain type of class or an internship, right? You can use it, take this energy um, however you wish to take it. Um, but you've reached an ending of some type of lesson and you have learned that lesson and you're no longer putting your energy there or paying attention to it in, in any way. So um, moving now into the Seven of Pentacles, you are focusing um, on whatever it, you need to, sorry, this is a slower energy here. It's a slower energy, Capricorn. You're, you're, you're investing in yourself. You're moving forward in a different way. You could be turning your ship, turning your ship, changing a little, a little, um, a little bit, and this could take a little bit of time. There's this kind of a slow methodical energy here. I'm in a, in a kind of a slow methodical energy. This quick energy that you used to be in, this very, um, passionate, um, up and down roller coaster type of energy is, an energy that you're thankfully moving out of. I'm saying thankfully because it was a difficult period of time for you. Honestly, it was a difficult period of time. Uh, moving in that quick whirlwind energy of the whirlwind or the roller coaster that you have been on, um, that was challenging for you. Now you're entering into a more stable period of time. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, you, you might have a little bit more work to do, but you've reached the Seven, and that's fairly close to Ten of Pentacles. So you are quite on your way, and you're feeling like it. You're feeling positive about your future. You're feeling like this is actually going to come true for you, whatever it is you're working on here. And you're feeling good about what you're doing. You're investing in yourself now. You're investing into something, either into your training, into your happiness, into your work, into your career, into your new business, but you're definitely investing in yourself now in a very comfortable way. It's a, it's a, it's a style, it's an energy that's much more comfortable for you than the energy you were in before. Okay, so that's what I see you in the current moment. So those of you who are resonating with this, with this current moment could, um, really follow along in the future here and, and find resonance with, with where I'm going in this story. Okay. Moving on now to what is going to be happening um, in the next seven to 10 days. So you're in a transitionary period. There's lots that you're taking in. Um, you have this inner knowing now with the high priestess. You could be doing something in the next seven to ten, ten, ten days. That is not common knowledge. It's not known by the general populace. It's not known by perhaps your family or your spouse. I mean, it's something that you are keeping within yourself because of this wisdom that you have, this divine connection um, that you have found within yourself and within the divine energy um, you are receiving some sort of guidance here that is giving you a great wisdom um, and is helping you to um, really move forward in a way that you feel peace with, you have an inner knowing about, and it's nothing that you can really express to anyone. You might be feeling kind of alone in this situation because sometimes a high priestess is kind of a lonely energy. It can be kind of a lonely, I don't want that card on top of her. Let me do, I, I need to change something here. Okay, this is how it's supposed to be. Sorry, I just have to get it right. Because it is energy that I'm in, so I have to make sure it's right for me. Um, so there is this this inner wisdom that you have, and, and there could be a little bit of a loneliness with this. Um, you have some, when we go through trauma, when we go through major lessons, these lessons and the wisdom that we gain can often separate us in some kind of way from our friends and our family or the people that um, we had resonance with before. So there is this inner knowing, and there could be a little bit of a loneliness. That's okay. 
That, that kind of happens when you're, when you transition into a new level or transition into a new experience. We have the seven of wands or we have the nine of wands here. Um, I do feel like, um, you're opening yourself up now to, to more, uh, possibilities in your future. You're really realizing what the pain of the past, the traumas of the past, what kind of scars they have left on you, how they have um, placed you in a very defensive energy that could have um, co-created some kinds of experiences that you just went through. Um, you're opening yourself up now into more opportunities with the Nine of Wands in reverse. That doesn't mean you don't have scars. That doesn't mean you don't have bumps and bruises. What it means is you have a vast amount of courage. And even with the scars, even with the bumps and bruises, even with the life lessons that are in your toolbox, you're still willing to open your heart. You're still willing to take action forward. It's a beautiful energy, my friends. It's a beautiful energy. We have the page of wands here. This is feeling new passion, new vitality, um, new love for life. There could be a passionate message coming in for you in the future. Um, but I think this is your energy here getting, um, um, sorry, I have a bit of a headache. I, I know I'm getting close over here. So I'm starting to feel those energies move through, but, but gaining some traction now on how you feel health wise, feeling that flame within you start to start to build again, um, coming back in out of a very cold, dark place and feeling that warmth again within yourself and having the strength now to start thinking about what you're going to do as you move forward and um, having the strength and the passion to start taking actions in that way. It doesn't have to be huge action, just small little changes. Maybe what you do in the morning before you go to work, maybe little changes there, maybe little changes in how you think about yourself or maybe affirmations that you have for yourself. Um, one of the first things I did in before one of my awakening periods, mm -hmm. I've had a few, um, was that I and a group of ladies, three of us, we decided that we were going to every morning get together at break time at work and share with each other one thing that we liked about ourselves. Okay. One thing. That's one thing. It could be anything. And after a couple of days, it got to be really hard. <laughs> it got to be really hard. And it really um, was showed me at that point in my life how um, important it was to change how I felt about myself because I couldn't think of very many things that I liked about myself. And that was in front of two other people, two of my best friends. Thankfully, they understood me and they felt the same way about themselves. So we kind of journeyed through that together. But when we think about what we like about ourselves and we only can come up with two or three, um, that tells us that um, we're not really in tune with our own value and our own superpowers, are we? And so there is a, a revitalization here that I see beginning to, to beginning to start up. We have the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So this is where the headache comes in. I mean, it's been difficult. It's been difficult, Capricorn. Nobody's denying that and everyone's nodding. I can feel the, 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 the bunch of you here nodding to this. Like, yeah, it's been freaking difficult. It's been one of the hardest journeys I've ever had in my life. And yes, it's messed with my mind. I know at this point in time that I'm not thinking as abundantly as I could. I know I'm not thinking as, um, as healthily, as healthy as I could about myself, right? There is an awareness here, right? There is a, there is a definite awareness. Now it takes time to get out of the 10 of swords and out of the eight of swords. It takes time. It's not anything that we do in a day or in a week. It's a process. Um, but what is beautiful about this next week and a half for you, Capricorn, is that you have an awareness of it. And with the awareness comes the freedom. With the awareness comes the empowerment, right? Once we know and once we have the clarity, once we can see the betrayal, we can see the pain, we can see the anguish, um, once we can see it, we can begin the process of surrendering to it 
and um, allowing it to come to an end or stepping into the pain and pushing it into the end, whatever we have to do. But as we bring this to an end, we do see that there's some um, kind of discovery that is being done about how you feel about yourself at this point in time. How strong are you? You are very strong. Humans are very strong people. Humans have done incredible, um, they have, they have performed incredible acts throughout history of mankind. And yes, humans have performed incredibly devastating acts throughout mankind. But humans are powerful. We all, each and every one of us are. We each and every one of us have that seed of empowerment within us. And so there is going to be some time taken here um, to really sink into that Eight of Swords and try to determine what kind of thinking is happening within you, what kind of confusion is there within you that is contributing to this feeling of helplessness or hopelessness. I've been there before several times. And um, for me, it, it was, it just took a little bit of time for me to really realize it. Now, if you have some really good friends around you that have pure intentions towards you, um, it's, it might be worth a conversation to share with others, but be careful who you share with. You're in a very vulnerable place right now. And so um, friends can be hard to come by. So make sure that you, if you're sharing with someone, make sure it's someone who has pure intentions towards you. Make sure you know what their intentions are towards you before you share, because you're in a very vulnerable place and you could be led down pathways that aren't helpful because many times the people that are around us have put their own greater value in their own happiness, not in your happiness. And so the person who you confide with, um, you must feel comfortable and trust that their intention towards you is in your own best interest. If you don't have anyone like that, then sometimes strangers are the better options. Places that people that work at agencies that can help, advocacy groups that can help. Sometimes the people around us are the people that have contributed to the pain. It is a harsh reality for many of us when we go through these kinds of experiences. So if you don't have anyone around you that you trust in, in entirety, that has pure intentions towards you, then strangers are sometimes a better option. People that work for agencies, for in, in shelters or in advocacy groups that can help you move forward out of this devastating period of time. Because when we see the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Swords, it tells me that um, there is a lot of confusion here and you might feel really trapped in this situation, not really knowing how to move forward. And there are people that can help you think through things. They really, they're, they really, they're, they are out there and they can help, especially in today's world with, with the internet and be able to, being able to connect in. I, I just want to get a little bit more information here on the eight of swords because I feel like I'm not done with the Eight of Swords. It, it was bothering me in the beginning, and it's still bothering me. Let me see if I can dig a little deeper into um, this Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Worry, anxiety. I mean, this could have really done a number to you. You could have, you could really um, be in um, some s sort of major anxiety or depression not really being able to see clearly when you're in that dense of energy. But you have this wisdom now. You might have a secret. You might have a secret plan or a, a secret here. Um, yeah, it's the same energy, not, not just going and telling and, and talking just to anyone. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm in. Being careful with who you share this with. The sun. Oh, it's in reverse, but it's here. Oh, there is a beautiful, brighter day coming. There's a beautiful, brighter day ahead, my friend. 
it's here. Maybe you don't see it yet because it's in reverse, but it's here. It's waiting for you. It's on the other side of this great divide. It's on the other side of this, of this experience. This is about control. This is about who controls your life. Who controls your life? Gaining control of your own life, of your own destiny. Gaining control over this anxiety, over the cycling of thinking that's happening, which is which happens to every one of us when we go through this kind of a situation. We all can find ourselves in the Eight of Swords. We all can, and we all do. It could be around someone who's very controlling. But the emperor is in the upright, which tells me that this is about, I'm um, kind of in a way getting, um, getting a handle on this. How are we supposed to get a handle on this? How are we supposed to gain control of this? How are we supposed to? Empress, internal health, healing, internal balance, knowing your worth. But this could be about a, a significant couple here, emperor and the empress here. This is internal balance and external balance, internal control, external control. This could be also a couple, a spouse, married, a married couple, business partners, internal balance, Find, getting balance over this how to overcome anxiety, how, how to overcome worry and stress. Rational thinking. Six of Pentacles is here with the Hermit energy. The Hermit energy came in sideways. I think you're starting to see. I think you're starting to see what you can do because the hermit is here. So you're starting to see the awareness is starting to come in. Soon you'll be able to change some of the things you're doing and move forward in a different way. The hermit is a learned energy. The hermit walks alone. The hermit is an energy of enlightenment and wisdom. So whatever's happening here, you're learning a great valuable wisdom here. So soon you'll be coming out of a, of a time of isolation, of deep thinking, and moving forward in a different way. And you're moving towards more equality in your life with the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful energy here. Six of Pentacles, having enough money to pay your bills, to put some money away in savings, and to go out into the community and enjoy yourself or give to others. If it's not money that you're talking about, this is equality in the 3D, equality in your reality. Some real changes coming in here. You will be creating this for yourself. When you come out as a, in the Hermit energy, the Six of Pentacles will soon follow. Okay, let's look at the guidance. You get that. Yeah. Um, let's see, I'm getting all distracted here. Let's look at the guidance that's coming forward. There's a lot of guidance here, so... Um, let me see what's coming forward here. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. This has been coming out quite a bit today. Seven of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in the upright. Three of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the upright. Let me, we're doing it again here. I don't want any of these energies on top of each other. So that's what's interesting about this reading. Okay. So somebody has been violating your love. They've been violating your space. They have been violating your time, your energy, your expertise. They have been taking advantage of you. And part of the reason why is because there are cracks in your foundation. There are weaknesses that people have 
this person or this group of people or whoever this is has been able to grab a hold of your weaknesses and they have been taking advantage of that. So there is a need here to look at what your weaknesses are so that you can build them into, so that you can fill in these cracks, these holes in your, in your boundaries, in your protectionary energy. So this is about self advocate is self advocacy. This is about learning, um, to how to stop overextending yourself, how to give in a more equal way, how to make sure that you are receiving as well as giving. So there's a need here to change something in how much you give and how you give and what you give because there's an energy here of complete exhaustion. Not only do we have the Ten of Swords coming out with me having a severe headache as I sit here. This is with the reading. It's not anything that's with me is this because I'm an empath. We also have the Ten of Wands. Depletion of energy, depletion of capacity, exhaustion. So you are not only in pain, you're not only hurting, you're not only feeling alone, you're exhausted. You can't keep doing this. I mean, you're being pushed to the brink here. You can't keep doing this. There is a king of wands here in the upright, which tells me that there, there could be a masculine Aries Leo Sagittarius here that is here to help you in some way. It's in the upright. So um, let me just clarify just a little bit this king of wands. It's just little energies here. Knight of cups in reverse. Two of cups. So this um, this king of wands here is is a player here in this situation. It's a manipulative energy. Could be a man or a woman, but this is definitely someone who's taking action in his or her life and working to create something for himself or herself. This is a very active person. This could be a performer, um, somebody who influences, somebody who's very charismatic, um, somebody who can make friends quite easily, but maybe has a hard time holding on to friends. See, there is this Knight of Cups in reverse here, which tells me that there is an unhealthy love energy around this person. This person is a partner, is a soul partner, has a connection with you, a strong connection here. Could be a work, a co-worker, could be a boss, a supervisor, could be a lover, could be a family member. But there is this energy, a toxic love, an unhealthy love, unhealthy energy, something that depletes, something that manipulates here. Knight of Cups is a manipulating energy. Knight of Cups in reverse is a manipulating energy. And then we have the Two of Cups touching the three of cups that's in reverse. So there's some sort of messiness here. Again, we have this oversharing over the three of cups here is in reverse. So there is some messiness with other people. Could it be messing around with other people? It could be creating messes in society in some way. Um, this is also people knowing your business, people knowing, people gossiping, very uncomfortable energy, especially since you're in the energy of the high priestess. Where is she? The High Priestess does not like the Three of Cups. She does not like it. She does not like oversharing. She does not like other people in her business. She understands the destruction that can come from gossip and from rumors and from um, people not staying in their own lanes, people um, getting their, putting their noses in other people's business. And when people can put their noses into other people's business, they can kind of get just a little bit smelly when they do that. It can start to stink and rot. The energy here, the guidance here is to look at life and see what is in your life that's healthy. See what's in your life that is not healthy for you. It does not really matter now at this point in time how much time and effort you've put into this. It doesn't really matter anymore. You could have put years of your time, years of your energy into this. But my friend, if it's not healthy for you, if it's not healthy for you, if it's depleting you, if it's causing you great pain, it may be time to relinquish, relinquish this and surrender to this. 
and allow the burdens to be dropped. And sometimes as we drop the burdens, it can be painful to drop the burdens. But there is an exhaustion here that I see with the Ten of Wands. A true exha exha exhaustion here. It's a card that just burst out and it's on the floor. Let me get it. You've just been going around and around in circles. This is about making different choices, making different choices. And it's a pentacles energy, which tells me it's a choice about real life, a choice about um, money, a choice about material items, a choice about um, a partner. We have two twos here, choices, real choices. Right. It's it's it. I think that for many of you, you you kind of know what's happening here. So now this is making choices about real things. About real things that you can touch, hold in your hand, money, jobs, home. Because this is exhausting for you. You're at a state now where you've been pushed to the brink. You're at the f finale. You're at the finale of this experience. It no longer provides you any fulfillment. It is pain and exhaustion. And the guidance here is to look at your life, to see what brings in healthy feelings, what helps build you up, and also look at what diminishes you, what creates depletion in your life, and to then decide how and when you're going to walk away from those things. Okay, Capricorn, I am going to move into the extended now. I'm going to dig deeper into the King of Wands. I'm going to go down some rabbit holes. I'm going to dis I'm going to dig deep into some of these energies, and then we're going to look at the people who are around you and see what their intentions are. So I'm going to dig deep here. I don't think I need to dig any deeper in this energy. This is a toxic energy. I don't really want to dig into that energy. So I'm going to, anyway, um, let me see what else I'm going to dig into here. I'm going to dig into this work that you're doing for the future. I think we're going to go out a little bit into the future too. I think I'll do, you know, instead of doing a people, looking into people, I might go out into the future with this reading. I just feel like it's necessary to go out into the future. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at these two energies and then I'm going to move this out into the future to see how this moves forward. Okay, thank you very much, Capricorn. I wish you all the best. You can do this, my friends. You can do this. Thank you.